Place has sounded. At this point, it's gone from the incipient stage to what's called free burning. The smoke detector is again sounding. I don't know what I heard at first, but it sounded at about 20 seconds, they're telling me. The fire is going to continue to burn to where that entire room flashes. Somewhere between what's called the free burning stage, which is just about now, and the flashover stage, there's no longer enough oxygen to breathe. There's too much heat to survive. Even at the lowest point of the floor, you would not be able to survive an event like this. The idea is when that smoke detector first sounds, you get up, you get out. You actually call for a fire in the EMS department away from the building that's on fire, whether it's your dorm or whether it's your home. Use cell phones, a car phone, even a neighbor's phone, if you will, to make that telephone call. Account for everybody, have a meeting place. Understand how to get out of your home, have at least two ways to get out of your home and dormitory and account for everyone. If you've left items back into your home, valuables, your purse as an example, perhaps it's even an animal, do not, I repeat, do not go back in. Almost always, when a person re-enters their home after it's been on fire, they usually do not survive. You can see with just this small mock-up, and even with the amount of wind that's blowing the smoke around, and even helping to cool it, just how difficult it would be to try to survive inside of a facility like that. You got to remember, this entire amount of smoke and heat and gases themselves inside of your dorm room or inside of your home. The whole front of that is open and with this kind of wind we may not be able to get the flash over but I think that we will. At this point in the event we're somewhere close to about two minutes and 30 seconds time wise and again you can see the tremendous thick black smoke and you can begin to see the heat that's releasing. That's going to continue until we get to that flashover point that I'm describing, and now that free burning stage has reached the flashover point where pretty much everything inside that container is going to catch fire. If you missed it while I was running my mouth, the blanket just ignited instantaneously, and as you can see, that would be impossible. The firefighters are gonna put this out with a hose line because that containment was not protected by sprinklers. Are there any Philadelphia Phillies fans? Notice that the entire Philadelphia Philly sign has been destroyed. Let's get the firefighter extinguished. Quickly, help them, help them, help them, help them, help them, help them, they're on fire, Chief. Let's get a hose line. Where's the backup line? Let's get the other firefighter put out, Chief. This is a pretty difficult and dangerous process. All three of them, we need to get some help to there, Chief. The plastic dripped down on top of the firefighters, which uh, of course caused a little problem. Thank goodness for the protective clothing that they have. It's going to take us just a minute to get ready to go with that second uh